Hi everyone, I'm Urajan from Goodby Solar Academy. In this video, I will open a brand new 10 kW ET inverter to see what we have inside of the box and then we will see the details of the installation. Okay, let's start. This is the bracket of the inverter, this is for hanging the inverter. Here we have DC connectors for PV panels. And this one pair of DC connector is for batteries. Here we have smart meter for controlling the output power of the inverter and realizing the zero export function. Also it's already connected with three CTs and they are all pre-wired. This is our AC cover for realizing IP65 protection. For installing the inverter, we have all the necessary screws and screwdriver. In this small transparent bag, we have smart meter user manual, ET inverters user manual, ET quick installation, and ATS report. For installation, first thing we need to hang the inverter. After that, we can continue with the DC side connection. Here you can see we have three DC inputs for PV panels and here we have battery connection port. On the right side of them, we have communication module. We have Wi-Fi module here. On the right of it, we have BMS communication cable, which is three meters long. Directly goes to the uh, battery management unit. On the right of it, we have smart meter pre-wired cable which is 10 meters long, directly goes to the smart meter. And on the right of them, we have AC outputs. On the upside, we have on-grid, and on the below side, we have backup output ports. Now we have everything for installation, so we can go on with the next step, installation. Now it's time to see a real example. I am at the, our new factory's entrance, and we have one 10 kW ET installed inverter. Behind it we have batteries and here we have AC distribution box. Let's begin with the connections of the inverter side. Here you can see three pairs of DC cables. First two are comes from the PV panels from our carport. The third one comes from our batteries. Here you can see our Wi-Fi communication module. This cable is coming from BMS, battery management system. Later in the near future we are planning to take some battery connection videos because as you know we have compatibility with the different brands of batteries and each brand has different connection type. We will see it later. This cable directly goes to the smart meter. It's communicating with the smart meter and CTs. And here on the right side you can see our two outputs. First one is our on-grid AC output and second one is backup output. For backup output there is a limitation. For that one you need to separate your loads in the connection box of your house. I would like to start with the grid side. Here you can see grid cables and we have CTs here. The most important thing is the direction of the CTs because we have two different directions, K and L. Every time K should be referred to house and L needs to connect grid side. So uh, when we connect the CTs, this CT is already pre-wired to our smart meter and smart meter sent the data to our inverter. So this is how we connect the smart meter and CTs. After that, AC connections. One important thing we also need to consider that every line has to be correspond to the same line on the grid, like L1 to L1, L2 to L2, and L3 to L3. That's a must. And here we have main MCCB and we have separate loads protection devices and they all connect to the one main MCCB. On the backup side, we are providing energy to our security rooms. Here these cables come from security rooms loads. Each load has a different subbreaker, and these subbreakers connected to the main breaker. And from main breaker, the cable goes to our inverter's backup output port. And the best advantage of our hybrid inverters is we can still provide energy to our security room even if there is a grid outage, because our storage inverters can provide energy with battery and PV panels only. In the general mode, I will talk about two scenarios. First, if load is lower than production, PV will provide energy to loads, then charge the battery. When battery fully charged, system will sell electricity to the grid if a load. 
In the second scenario, if load power is higher than production, first PV energy will deliver to the loads, after that battery will also discharge the provided energy. If these two sources still not enough for loads, then grid will contribute. This is how general mode logic works. Of course, we can change it easily with a few steps on mobile app. When there is a grid outage, inverter can provide energy to only backup loads. Therefore, you can change charging and discharging times. For example, we can reserve a certain percentage of energy in the battery so system will use it only when grid outage happens. Thanks for watching us and if you like the video, subscribe us.